The Mitsubishi Grassroots Horse Trials at Badminton is one of the most gruelling events amateur riders can compete in. In May 2013, one rider called Barbara achieved two goals, completing the event and being alive. I finished chemotherapy a week ago after suffering breast cancer and have been, my aim, my goal in life was to actually be here for the championship. It's a dream come true. Just eight months earlier, Barbara had found a lump on her breast. I had a mastectomy last October. I had a very, very aggressive tumour and um, I'm very, very lucky to be alive. On the day of the event, she gave this advice to anyone who had just been diagnosed with breast cancer. Don't give up, exactly, and, and don't hesitate if you've got a lump, because 24 hours I had nothing, and then and 24 hours later I had a, a lump which was as big as a huge walnut, and I immediately phoned the GP, and he saw me, and he fast-tracked me to the hospital for tests, and if anyone has any problems, they must act on it. Don't think they're crying wolf. It's better to be safe than sorry and not to give up. Because the sooner you can actually get treatment, the sooner you're on the road to recovery. And it's also your mental attitude. Don't, don't live in pity. I don't want pity. I want people to enjoy life like me and to encourage. And you've had no aches or pains either? No. In the, in the entire journey, yeah. I've been very, very fortunate. Just twice I felt a bit under the weather, but no more than that. Nine months later, Barbara is coming to the end of her treatment. So I'm reaching the end of my journey now. I've got one more Herceptin um, treatment to undergo, and then hopefully life will return to total, total norm normality. So I've been very, very lucky. Barbara is very grateful for the good quality care she has received and is really keen to offer some advice and encouragement to those just starting the journey. I have a good bracelet which says, live life life is for living and that's what I that's, that's what I try and um, emulate uh, life is for living and you try and enjoy the the present you have certain short-term goals which I think are very important but you don't necessarily look too far into the future each day is a bonus each day is a, a gift to actually enjoy um, and so that's um, one thing I have learnt um, to get up and enjoy life, be it horrible weather, good weather, and um, I advise other people to hopefully do the same. For Barbara, having the physical goal of competing at badminton was fundamental to developing the right mental attitude for beating cancer. The idea of focusing on an external goal came from her oncologist, and she gratefully acknowledges how valuable this advice was. So have a goal, have the goal of going competing, um, so then that gives you an impetus to actually get up out of bed and get going and do the work that you need to do, maintain your level of, of, of body fitness so that you are competitively fit, um, but do what your body tells you. If you feel that you can't do it because of the drugs that are in you, then obviously you've got to take a different, make a different decision. So that has always been my um, message and he gave me that message for which I'm very, very grateful. One of the most important tasks for somebody just diagnosed with cancer is getting the right information. Barbara deliberately didn't spend time searching the internet, but searched out first-hand information from people who knew what they were talking about. I got first-hand information from someone who had just suffered um, a lumpectomy, and she told me and gave me guidelines to whom to ask and what to ask. And that is the sort of thing you need to do. If you are informed about your particular um, type of cancer, because there are many different types of cancer, that's one thing you've got to learn, and many different treatments as well. So make sure that you try and get the best type of chemotherapy for your complaint um, and talk to your oncologist about it and the side effects. Um, but don't lose hope, because there's such a multitude of people to help you um, and if you need to ask 24-7, they're only there for you. The most important advice that Barbara would like to share is listening to what your own body is telling you. It's very important that if at any time throughout um, 
going through um, fighting cancer, you do listen to your body at all times. There are times that you feel very tired, irritable, you have mood swings, your appetite can go up and down, it can be very pivotal. pivotal. Um, you don't necessarily feel like being sociable, so therefore you don't want to go and meet people, which ordinarily you would. Just act on it and don't force yourself. You have a reason, not an excuse, to follow that sort of plan. Um, and it's very important that you're not under duress, you're not stressed, because I'm of the opinion that stress is a major deterrent to your healing process. Getting on with life, staying active and taking regular exercise to keep fit and strong during energy sapping treatments was also important to Barbara. Um, but I always um, felt that being active helped my body cope with um, the side effects of chemotherapy and there are some very bad side effects that some people will experience. Come on, in you go. That's a good girl, well done. Barbara took extra care about what she was putting into her body and changed her eating and drinking habits. She recommends that you listen to and act upon the nutritional advice you are given by healthcare professionals. Well, firstly, I finished my Herceptin on Monday the 3rd. Then mm -hmm. on Tuesday, because of that, I have to have a three-monthly echocardio echocardiogram. Do you know anything about that? It's not always easy for family members to know how best to support a cancer sufferer. You've got to stay positive and you have got to encourage your, the sufferer, your partner, to lead as normal a life as possible. Um, but not only that, but if you have got a target, that is fantastic. With Barbara, she had a, a, a particular target, and that target was to compete at badminton in May 2013. And that really drove her to cope. And that was a fantastic target to have. And if you think that within 10 days of completing six months of chemotherapy, she was competing in one of the major uh, amateur horse trials in the UK, that was a, a fantastic achievement. But it wasn't so much even the achievement, it was more that she had the target to go for it. Picking the right time, place and way to tell her son was also an important decision. We felt it was not a good time to tell him last thing at night. So we planned to tell him on a Saturday morning when the weather was decent, when we were going to see my sister and we were going to have a family meal. So therefore that would be a, um, a support system again for him. So uh, I just spoke to our, our son and said, I'm afraid I've got a little bit of bad news here. When I've been going off and telling you I'm going for meetings, I have actually been undergoing hospital tests due to the fact I've found a lump. Um, it has been confirmed as breast cancer and I've got to have a mastectomy. So his first retort was, you're not going to die. I said, not if I can help it. I'm going to try and be in the driving seat and be in control. Now it takes a lot of guts to actually tell your son that, but it felt made me feel better because I just felt this is not going to beat me, I'm going to beat it. For Barbara, her passion for riding her horses and love of being active outside has really given her something external to focus on rather than turning inwards. So the key advice Barbara would offer to any cancer sufferer is not to focus on the illness and the negative impact that it has, but rather to focus on an external goal and staying fit and well enough to achieve it.